This is a special option color star white metallic tri coat 2023 F-150 Larry with a sport appearance package. LED lights up front including the fog lights. You got tow hooks, 20 inch dark alloy aluminum wheels. And check this out, it's got power tractable running boards that recognize the keys in my pocket and drop down automatically. Same thing with the smart entry on the doors. Recognize the keys in my pocket, it'll automatically unlock. And it just does that for the front doors. It does not do it on the back, that's a safety thing. And you can override it by pushing this button to relock it. It's got an FX4 off-road package, which includes the skid plates and the uh, off-road shocks. It's got a capless oil filler, I'm sorry, fuel filler. So you don't have to worry about dropping it and slamming it against your paint and everything like that. Just open it up and fill her up. You can hear the power retractable running boards closing as I walk away. It's got the Class 4 trailer hitch. Actually, this truck has the Max trailer tow package, which I will uh, tell you more about when I get inside. This one also has power tailgate. In the bed, you're going to notice a few things. <clears throat> First of all, you have the Pro Power Armboard System. That's a generator that can be used to power a campsite, or it can even power your house for a couple of days. You're going to notice a button up here to the left of that LED light. That controls the LED box lighting, which is that light, that light, and the two center high mount lights. That's going to get, that's going to give you a real bright illumination at nighttime for loading up cargo. And if you're in a hurry and jump in the truck and pull off, forgetting to turn it off, not to worry. Within 10 minutes, it'll shut itself off. And also does it once you hit about 30 miles an hour, I believe. I have to check on the mile per hour uh, threshold, but I believe it's around 30 miles an hour. You also have the box link here, which you can use for your tie downs, which are in the back of the truck. They come with it. That's for securing cargo, but it's also for different accessories like the stowaway, uh, fold up ramps that you can use for loading up a four wheeler or your uh, lawnmower or whatever but they stow away on the side of the bed rail so that you have plenty of space for your cargo still on the tailgate you'll see it's got a stamped in measuring stick and also a spot put your c-clamps so that you can hold down plywood or lumber and make accurate cuts without having to run back and forth between the truck and the shop you also notice this one has a tailgate step and a telescoping handle so it makes it real easy to climb up into the bed. There are other trucks that have similar tailgate steps. Well, I use the word similar very generously. If you look at like the GM truck, for instance, the tailgate folds in different confusing ways and it's real heavy and this is just so much simpler and easier to use. You don't have to be an engineer to figure out how to use it. You think I'm kidding? Look up how the GM tailgate step works. I'm not exaggerating a bit. Another cool thing is most power tailgates you have to lift up on your own. They only power down. This one also powers up. You got a power sliding rear window there truck does have remote start as well I'll show you inside inside this one's got a real cool two-tone setup it's black leather and I think that's Yava I think that's the same color they put in the King Ranches and it's you know same two-tone setup on the piping it's got contrast stitching all leather you have heated seats in the back as well as accessory ports and USB ports The seats lift up. And underneath, you have this collapsible storage area. It locks. They're on the other side. <clears throat> it locks so that it doesn't rattle when you're going on the road. Holds everything nice and tight in place. But it also folds flat, so if you have dogs or big cargo you want to put inside 
it folds flat so you can just slide things right in and with the seat down the center seat has cup holders built in there's also cup holders close to the back here that can be used for the front or rear passengers it says the bno unleashed stereo system which sounds incredible a lot of polished aluminum in the back i mean the interior as well all over the place looks really sharp personally i like that a lot more than the piano black this one also has the key keypad entry which is really nice when you're going to the beach and you want to you don't feel like carrying your keys with you or if you're on a job site you can leave your keys in the truck and lock it up got that same two-tone leather in yava i apologize this truck hasn't been cleaned more polished trim got power seats in every which direction <laughs> including the lumbar i don't i have I would guess that's at least a 10-way power seat. I haven't looked. Um, power adjustable pedals. You got spotlights for the mirrors, which, again, are very bright. Here's the button I was telling you about for the tailgate. You can power with both the uh, key fob or from inside the truck. You got a button for your, your LED box lighting as well from inside the truck. Oh, it's, uh, power adjustable steering wheel as well for telescoping and tilt. Inside the truck, you have a memory seating for three different memories. Power windows. I'm sorry, uh, power mirrors, power windows, power door locks. And let's see here. Here's a cool feature. So this truck has the workstation area. I press that button, which folds that out of the way. I can flip the console forward and I can put my laptop or work papers down here. When I flip that back open, I have another storage area underneath, which goes really deep. You got a spot for business cards, change. This truck has a moonroof built in. It's a twin panel, so it goes all the way back. So this one, like I said, has the max trailer towing package. So you're gonna have the pro trailer backup assist, which uh, you can use to steer. It's more intuitive rather than, you know, when you're backing up a trailer, you have to turn the opposite direction you actually want the trailer to go. By using the pro trailer backup assist, you turn the direction exactly you want, the way you want the trailer to go. So it takes a little bit of uh, getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's really helpful. So underneath the trailer brake controller, you have your four-wheel drive low, four-wheel drive high, and four-wheel drive automatic that makes the truck basically operate like all-wheel drive. You have your different drive modes for, uh, oh, hang on a second. Normal, slippery, deep snow and sand, mud and ruts, rock crawling. Got heated and air conditioned seats up front, only heated in the back. And then you put this shifter back up. Oops. Oh, that's wrong. Had the truck off. Um, so I want to show you this. When I put it in reverse, you have your regular backup camera with the aerial 360 that shows me the entire perimeter of the truck but i can change the views so i can do a wide view three angle view that's to turn the camera off this is a really nice one this is <clears throat> this camera angle is pointing down which makes it really nice for backing up to a trailer and then lastly, you have the trailer view. So when the trailer is actually hooked up, this one can let you see on either side of the trailer. Turn that on off. I also have a forward facing camera, which again with the 360 view is really nice. You have two glove boxes. Um, you also have uh, the Smart Trailer Connect, which is really nice. So the Smart Trailer Connect allows you to 
once you have the trailer hooked up, if you have any bulbs to go out or you know something's not connected right, it'll warn you with the vehicle information system, which is really really cool. So this is a Lariat, man. This is this is is about as loaded up as they come. There's your controls for the power moonroof and the third. Um, I'm sorry, the uh, rear power window slider. This truck's got all the safety stuff, the lane keeping assist, the forward warning, colli forward collision warning. This is about as nice as they come. I mean, yes, the Archer mobile is above the Lariat, but at a certain point, it just it starts becoming like ah, oh, nicer wheels or whatever. But for the money, a Lariat seems to be the best value in the F one fifty lineup. You get almost all the the good features. You get all the leather and the cool looking trim to me th this is the truck this is the one to go with if you're going to go with an f-150 if you don't care about a lot of technology and leather an xlt is great but there's really not that much of a difference in price between an xlt and a lariat plus the lariat's going to hold its value a lot better just something to consider uh the special option color that helps with holding its value they're a little less common and then, of course, the two-tone interior is really nice. Look, I'm getting ready to pull up in between these two trucks. So I'll turn my forward-facing camera on. That way I can make sure I'm even between these two cars. Boom. That is nice. Even if you're, you know, you think you're fine, it's it's so nice to have. If you're one of those people who says, oh, I don't use backup cameras, I don't use, you know, all that technology, you think that. And then once you start using it to parallel park and backing up to a trailer, you're going to spoil yourself and you're going to not want to be without it. So if you guys want to check out this truck on a test drive or, you know, see what your payment would be like for it, give me a call. 610-291-0258. You can call or text me anytime. And, and I barely scratched the surface. There's so much more to this truck than even what I just went over. All right, guys, I'll talk to you.